What's going on everybody? It's Joe from the Acceptable Casualties here to do a little army showcase. Today I got some M10s from Battlefront. Be back in a second to get a little bit closer look at the uh, kits and I guess the 90% uh, complete models that I got sitting here in front of you. So we'll be back in a flash. Alright everybody, so here's a little bit of a closer look at the finished M10s that I put together from that Battlefront kit that allows you to put together the M10 variants as well as the uh, Jacksons for the Americans. Uh, this kit overall, pretty awesome uh, as far as what you can put together with these. So um, this is, like I said, this is about 90% finished. I haven't done any of the stowage on here yet or some of the other like really fine detail work. Uh, this is kind of just tabletop ready at this point for what I put together with this kit. You get uh, four of the tanks with it. The best part I think about it is that um, you can put together the bases, like the uh, the hulls actually. They work for both the M10s and the uh, Jackson variant. So you have that built in with no, no mixing and matching of any pieces. They're pretty standard and the turret systems are different on each of them, but you get sets to build two of them uh, completely. So you don't have to worry about like magnetizing or switching them out. So you can have a Jackson set and an M10 set uh, with with this kit, if you play um, Americans and, and Brits, you have the option to run both, which is kind of nice. It stretches your dollar a little bit further. Uh, what I ended up doing with these guys, I bought them originally for my 11th Armored because I wanted to get um, just another support unit in there, kind of just mix it up a little bit, something different to play with. And they're also playing into my new British and Polish list that I'm opening up pretty soon for uh, my Italian campaign. So they uh, they played really well in that. And it was the M10 with the 3-inch gun and then the 17-pounders. I think you have an option for it. In the Italian book, but you only get that option in the um, in the Market Garden book. So what I ended up doing was I could take the turret off right now. As you guys can see, this is the the base turret for the 17 pounder that's sitting here right now. What I did was I let me put this back on there. I ended up getting some magnets and um, let me put it in there. I ended up shaving down and magnetizing the back plates on the. Uh, on the big guns for the 17 pounders because each gun comes with its own uh, mounting plate for the cannon and I just ended up placing if you can see it there I put a magnet in there to that groove as well I ended up using a two millimeter by one millimeter for the uh, for the magnets so I didn't have to do any drilling it was, it was pretty much just like some light filing and then uh, I was able to fit so then I'm able to take the three inch gun variant and it just magnetizes on there and it works absolutely perfect. I mean, like I said, you can see, actually, I just snapped off the back of that 50 cal mouth to glue it. Great. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of a lip um, and a little bit of a, it's not flush, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's a little, little bit of a gap in there. But like I said, this is like zoomed in close up for you guys to see. At tabletop length, you're not going to be able to tell unless you're actually looking for it. And they still look really good like that. So, um... Yeah, this is kind of just a view of what you guys are going to see on the table pretty soon, added to the 11th Armor and uh, my Poles and my, and my Brits for some of the Italian stuff I have coming out. It's a really good kit by Battlefront, uh, definitely worth checking out. And um, with the new rules for V4, I think these guys are going to be even a little bit more viable with the shoot and scoot and some of the other stuff that you can do with them to keep them alive on the table, even though uh, their armors may not be as strong as some Fireflies and Sherman variants. So, um, yeah, take a look at the kit. I got mine for, I think, like $32 online with free shipping through an eBay vendor. I think usually you'll probably be able to find them between 35 and 40 uh, is the norm. I just kind of walked into a lucky deal. I don't think that's um, something you're gonna see that often. But yeah, it's a good kit. It'll definitely um, definitely stretch if you're willing to put a little bit of extra work into it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments below, maybe some other kits that you guys want me to see, um, do some reviews on, or some more videos like this for some stuff that I'm building. So catch you guys later.